Welcome to Johnny on Energy. We're here at the AHR Expo, and I'm here with Dave of Geo Comfort. It's a uh, geothermal equipment manufacturer, and he's going to talk to us about geothermal, how it works, how it would fit in your home. Uh, Dave, why don't you kind of give us a quick background? Uh, well, we're, of course, like I said, Geo Comfort. We build uh, geothermal heating and cooling systems. Uh, Basically, the GeoComfort system handles uh, energy just like uh, your home's inter uh, standard system, but instead of trying to use the outdoor air temperature that a lot of systems use, we're actually using the ground to uh, either absorb heat or uh, reject heat, depending on the mode of the system. So it, it's really a great advantage of that is it reduces operating costs and it gives a lot better uh, efficiency to the home. So. Couple of units here we can dive into, and I can show you a little bit more of the ins and outs and how they work. Sounds great. I think a lot of our uh, readers don't get to see all that, so let's go ahead and jump in and see some more details. Sounds good. Thank you. John, like we were talking about, uh, the geothermal system uses the natural properties of the air to either take heat into the home or reject heat out of the home back into the ground. There's a number of different systems that we can use to accomplish this. Uh, the primary ones that you'll see out there are the vertical earth loop and the horizontal earth loop. What these systems do is, on the vertical, is we drill about 150 feet to 250 feet down, and then you generally get about one bore per ton. Uh, we put a polyethylene pipe, it's a black pipe, they use it for natural gas right now. We put that back in the hole and then we grout up with a bentonite solution to seal the hole up. Uh, this is great for small spaces and things of that nature if you've got limited land space. And then when they put all the system together, they actually heat fuse all the pipe together. There's no actual glue involved, so that makes the system very durable. Uh, if you've got a lot of land, the horizontal system makes it a little bit better. We're drenching about six to eight feet down, about 250 to 250 feet in length, and we get one trench per ton. This is generally a little less expensive, and it's generally a little bit easier to do for the contractor. So basically, in this case, for uh, you know our readers, they're, you're you're accessing a depth that is maintaining a constant temperature, so that you can either put heat out to the fluid in those lines, which is a kind of coolant, yeah. or uh, dump heat to it or extract heat from it. Exactly. In the winter time. Anywhere you go, about six to eight feet underground, the earth remains a constant temperature of 50 to 60 degrees. I mean, really, even up in the far reaches of the north, because the earth acts as a giant solar battery. All that energy that comes down, the earth just absorbs it and it maintains that even medium temperature. So we can, like I said, extract heat out of it, deliver it to the home, or take heat out of the home and dump it back into the ground. Great. John, this is an example of one of the uh, geothermal systems that we build. This is a standard system that a lot of customers would see. What this is called is a packaged water to air unit because it contains not only all the inter integral parts of the system, but it also contains a blower and the delivery system to the home as well. Uh, all these units are composed of primarily four major components. We have a heat exchanger that actually takes the uh, loop fluid and transfers heat in and out. We have a compressor which is down there as well. Then we have an air coil and a blower motor, and that's what actually heats and cools the air and delivers it to the home. Uh, the great thing about these systems is that they're so versatile, and because of the way they're designed, they're extremely quiet as well. Homeowners will really not even notice that the unit's running because of how we design the uh, quiet and uh, noise features of the unit. Great, so what we're really looking at here is in the lower half, we're taking that fluid that's coming from that long loop we just talked about uh -huh. and we're either extracting heat from it to heat in the uh, winter time or we're dumping heat from the house out to it exactly kind of like a refrigerator would operate so um, and then at the top we're really converting that to the to the uh, lower so we got a forced air system so you got heating and cooling into a normal ductwork system of the house exactly in fact if you want to really think about it the way this unit's designed in a traditional system System, this bottom section would be what would be outside of the house, the standard condenser system and fan, and then this system would be your furnace or your remote air handler inside the home. But because everything's in one package, it makes the installation a lot simpler, kind of easier to service, and it's not outside to be uh, uh, open to the elements and to the weather for potential damage. Great. Hey, well, thanks for uh, taking the time to explain geothermal to us. Hey, not a problem, John, anytime. Yeah.